Hi folks, so um, a few months ago I bought myself a gas oven and it is the, uh, the gas canister type and um, yeah, um, over the last few months I've been filming a few bits um, so I've put them together into a short video uh, just as a bit of a review. Uh, unfortunately I lost some of the footage so uh, there was more footage well, that's how it goes isn't it sometimes um but anyway take a look see what you think okay guys so i have uh i have treated myself to something as i often do um and i've been on amazon as i often do and um yeah i will show you i've just started to open it and i thought oh i could film this bit so uh here we go It is an oven. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, I've started to open it. Um, but that's as far as I've got. So, uh, right. So, where can I put you guys when I do this? Not be a second. Okay, so I hope you can see okay from there. A gas, it's a gas canister oven. Uh, destructions. Right. Um, I was, I saw a guy when I was at the gear. Um, hobo. If you're watching Hobo, hi buddy. Um, uh, he's got one of these, and he's uh, he's hardwired it into his uh, into his gas bottle, which I think is a brilliant idea. Um, and I was considering doing the same, but the only thing is, if I do that, then it's it's going to have to have a, a permanent fixture, and it, it's going to take up a lot a lot of um, worktop space, obviously. So I'm thinking that initially trying it just on the little gas bottles. Um, cause I might only use it say two or three times a week. So it's going to take up a lot of space just for two or three times a week. And if I organize myself properly, I have got plenty of storage. So we shall see, we shall see. Yep. Anyway, one rack. This is going to be fun. <laughs> Sorry, you can't really see anything at the moment. It's okay, I'll speed this bit up. Okay, so I can't see what you can see, but uh, that is it. Obviously you can get two shelves in there. Uh, it's got a timer, it's got a thermostat. That's your on off gas switching and the cartridge the cartridge goes in there um yeah they always say outdoor use only uh it's oven of course it gets hot they expect um anyway sorry but yeah i'm going to have, enjoy having a go with that i, th I think if you're part-time or just weekenders or then you, can, you don't need an oven not at all um 
but when you're full time it is handy definitely I think uh, and who doesn't like pizza eh? who doesn't like pizza right let's try and uh, find somewhere for this well it could sit there um, when I'm using it or it will I've, I've put it here it will fit on there um, so then I'd have um, the space for obviously for chopping space and whatever so yeah and like I say I might only use it two or three times a week so it's finding a home for it is the fun part but I'm sure I can uh, move things around there's always a way okay so the oven is on and I've chopped up some veg potatoes, carrots, onion and brussels which some people find strange but uh, roasted brussels are nice I can assure you and a couple of these uh, the nice looking pork chops so they are going to go in so fingers crossed right obviously you can't really see much but they are in so uh, I shall let you know how they get on well there we go folks bit of a roast dinner a bit longer than expected um, just got to get used to the temperature thing I think it needs to be set a little bit higher than what you expect but that's been that's been cooked fine right time to enjoy yeah and one good thing about the uh, the oven um, I've got it at 200 degrees but I mean it takes the you have, you have the gas up on full obviously to get it up to temperature but I don't know if you can see that but I couldn't have it any lower um, any lower that will be out does that help at all? Oh, I don't think it does but honestly that is on low as possible. Let's see I've got, uh, I don't know if you can see there, you can't really got some bread in the oven but that's looking nice. Um, yeah, uh, uh, yes I am, uh, I am happy with it, definitely. Um, if you got the space, yeah it's definitely worth, uh, it's definitely worth considering. Well that's the bread out of the oven guys, um, that feels really nice, um, took a bit longer than, I probably have to give it another 10 minutes longer than what the recipe said, uh, I find that sometimes with the oven, um, and like I say I also find that uh, if something should be cooked at 180 then it's probably best to put the oven on at 200. Um, but yeah, it works well, it cooks well, uh, just a little bit slower. But yeah, I've cooked meat in there, vegetables, bread, with good results. Okay, so tonight in the oven, I'm, uh, I've done a few fries. And uh, yeah, the oven's up to temperature, right, bang those in. Right, they are in. Yep, fingers crossed, they should be okay. 
Well guys, the chips are out. Yep, they're looking good. Right. Uh, cool. Get my bread and butter. I'm gonna get stuck in. Yeah, they took about an hour. About an hour. Maybe, maybe just over. Right then, folks. The dough has had about 90 minutes. Yeah, I think it looks okay. Bang that in the oven and give it about half an hour or so, 35 minutes. And hopefully have a tasty loaf. Right. Right. There the bread goes in the oven. Alright, fingers crossed. Right then guys, the bread is out of the oven. That uh, It uh, feels and smells good. Right, I'm going to tap its bottom. As you do. There we go. That's the bottom. That looks like a nice loaf. Right, let that cool down for not very long. And uh, I will have a slice. Right, I think it's time to uh, slice the loaf. Oh, that feels very nice. Still warm. I will enjoy that. But, uh, get some butter on. Do you think I should have another slice? Yes. I'm really pleased. That that is really nice. So maybe a tad warm to be slicing, but that looks tasty. Okay then folks, this is the taste test. It is my uh, low carb bread with a nice bit of butter on. It's still warm and it feels and smells, oh, it's just it's just lovely. It's just like, it's like bread, funnily enough. Um, right, here we go. Mm. That is lovely. A nice crispy edge, but lovely and soft, and fluffy, and buttery. Funnily enough, that is really nice. So, if you try it, guys. So, um, in conclusion, um, I'm really impressed with it. Um, for a little camping oven, uh, it does really well. Um, uh, like I said, you have to have the temperature perhaps set. I usually set it at 200, but most things seem to go in at 180 uh, in, the, in a conventional oven. Um, and it does it fine. It might take another 10 minutes longer than than what um, the method states. Um, but again, that's fine. Um, still getting used to it, uh, but I do I do like it. Um, I find that the um, things on the bottom shelf. Um, because they're so close to the heat source you have to keep your eye on those and turn things more regular uh, on the bottom shelf um, you normally think the top of the oven gets hotter um, but, <laughs> but I think it's because they're so close to the heat source um, but yeah it works fine um, does a good job um, if I can figure out how to get the link on I will put a link on the description um, so I got it off uh, Amazon um, I think mine was roughly about £130. Uh, I've seen them since then, I've seen them a bit cheaper and I've seen them more expensive. But um, I've noticed a lot of brands out there, and they're all the same oven, um, must be made in the same factory in China, um, just with different branding on. Um, I mean, I've seen some with the, uh, the Camper brand, 
and that was like 160 pounds when I was looking and it looks exactly the same as mine um, if you're just paying for a different sticker on the front basically uh, but anyway uh, yeah I like it it takes a bit of getting used to and it does take some space it does take some space up but luckily that isn't an issue for me uh, but for people with a smaller van that might be an issue but yeah it's great I mean you can take it out in the summer you can camp you can be cooking outside that'd be great right hope you enjoyed it guys see you soon cheers Bye.